Artio here, or welcome to another album ranking. But just before we start, can I just apologise for the major cock up I made yesterday on the Clear Credence Clearwater Revival show? For some reason, I managed to get the recording in twice. So once you've watched it, switch off because in about 40 seconds later, it comes on again unless you want to watch it again but I do apologize for the monumental cock up anyway let's move on today we'll be looking at an a rare, fairly newish band oh, they've only been around since 2010 so they're reasonably new um, they are called Wolf Alice um, I got into them by a friend who said, check these out, um, you'll love the uh, singer, she's got a great voice, and they're absolutely right. Um, she has got a Roswell. Uh, basically, Wolf Alice is Ollie Wes Roswell on vocals and guitarist Jeff Odie. But since 2012, Wolf Alice has always featured a bass player called Theo Ellis and a drummer called Joel Ame. Um, so they've released up to date three albums. All three are very good. Um, it wasn't too hard to rank these because even when there's only three, you, you can see the nuts and bolts of it all. But they are all very good. So we'll have a look at these three albums. So coming in at number three, we have their second album released in 2017 called Visions of Life. Um, it's the same people on all the albums, but I'll just go through what they actually do. Ellie Roswell does vocals, guitar, keyboards, omnichord and synthesizers. Joff Oddy, guitar, keyboards backing vocals and synthesizers. Theo Ellis plays the bass guitar, keyboard, synthesizers, backing vocals. And Joel Ami is the drummer, does backing vocals and percussion. So the first track is called Heaven Ward. This is a really nice track. Ellie Ro Roswell has got a lovely voice. Uh, very delicate in places reminds me of another singer which we'll go on to in a bit later but it's a really good opener now you've got to be careful how you say this next one the second track is called Yuck Fu yep play on words um, it's a great rocker though uh, it just shows Ellie's other side of her singing she can do this really soft stuff but here she's really giving it large, she's singing a real good rocker, great drumming here from Joel Lame, he's a decent drummer and a really good bass line from Theo, good track. Then we got Beautifully Unconventional, another great track, nothing wrong with this, solid alternative rock track, very very good, um, don't delete the, the kisses, this has got a stonking bass line from Theo, it's a bit weird And I don't particularly like this track, but what I will say about it, they weren't afraid to experiment. <laughs> Planet Hunter, solid enough track. Uh, again, it's a little bit experimenting. I think they're in that stage where they, they don't know what they're going to be doing. You know, and I've got nothing wrong with that. They're still in their early days and you've got to experiment. Um, Sky Musings. Again it, again, it sort of goes off in too many tangents into one song. Um, you've got to admire them for trying it. I've got no problem with that. I mean, Ellie's voice sounds great anyway. Uh, but there you go. You can't have, win them all, can you? Um, the next track, Formidable Cool. This is the best track on the album. This is very space rock bit early UFO, bit hot windy in places. Uh, some great guitar work from Joff Odie on this. 
absolutely spanking stuff. Um, then we get a track that's actually called Space and Time. Great bass line, great vocal from Ellie, really strong. She does remind me of Kate Bush in places. I think that's why I like her voice. Um, again, it's it's a bit psychedelic in places. It's okay. Sad Boy. I think the production on this lets it down. Um, they're still exper experimenting, but it's it's okay. It's not terrible. It's just a bit. They were just mucking about with the levels and that thing, and they and for some reason they didn't get it quite right on that one. Scent purple and green. Oh, this sort of track, Ellie singing, does remind me of Kate Bush. It's a really good, strong track. After the Zero Hour, again, I don't know if they're, they're influenced by Kate Bush or she is, but again, it's a really good um, track. Last track is the title track, Visions of a Life. Really good track. Love the guitar riffs in this. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, on the whole, this is a very good album, but I don't think it's as consistent as the debut. Um, as I said, I think this was the experimental album. I wanted to do a little bit different from the first album. And um, they learnt from this album. It's still a very good album. And I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 7 out of 10. Okay then, coming in at number 2. We have the debut album. Released in 2015 called My Love Is Cool. Same people, so we're not going to go through who's playing on it. First track, Turn To Dust. Great opener for a track. Nice mid-range rock song uh, an amazing voice from Ellie fantastic bros this is a quite quirky track quirky track sorry uh, again I love the simplicity of this one there's nothing fancy about it but the vocal from Ellie is fantastic then we get your love your love's whore little hint of U2 on this some of the guitar work the chinky chinky sort of guitar that The Edge does is on this album pretty good bass line as well great track um, You're a Germ I love this this sort of reminds me of post punk uh, it's like or it's Transvision, Transvision Vamp that sound really really good I like that one a lot um, Lisbon, another very good track. It's in the same vein as You're a Germ. That post punky feel to it. Excellent track. Silk, this is a very atmospheric track. Ellie's voice on here is outstanding. Um, she's very good on that one. Um, Freezy, one of those experimental tracks again. It's not too bad. Um, Giant Peach. Another really good track. I love the bass and the guitar and how they interact on this one. Very good, strong track. Um, Swallowtail. The drumming from Joel M.A. on this is superb. He takes the lead vocal as well. Uh, you know, it's a gentle rock track, but I just love, love his voice in it. Soapy Water. A great track. Just, it's just very simple rock and there's nothing wrong with that Fluffy, a great little rocker this is what a versatile voice that Ellie has got and the last track is called The Wonder Why and it has a little hidden track at the end, My Love Is Cool The Wonder Why track is very very good, good rocker but I do like the hidden track it's got a bit of a voice effect on it excellent Excellent debut album. Uh, did very well. They got a few awards for this as well. So it's, it's a damn good album. Uh, a little bit better than the second one, I think. There's more rock tracks on this. And they didn't diverse. They kept with the rock. But it's still an excellent album. And I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 7.5. Okay, then. 
Coming in number one is the most current album released on the 4th of June 2021 and it's called Blue Weekend. First track is called The Beach, really good uh, track. It's very similar to some of the stuff off the debut album but they've really got their sound now and it's a combination of stuff off the first album and second album and they've just really thought about what they're go doing and where they're going and they've come up with a really good track there delicious things i love this the arrangement love the vocals it's a fantastic song they're already starting to mature in their sound uh, which is excellent lipstick on the glass vocal on this is great the arrangement again really thought about this they've really starting to mature it's an excellent track um smile love the riffs in this it's great drumming uh just a great little rock track um safe from heartbreak if you never fall in love this is an acoustic sound to it some great harmonies they can all sing uh well produced song very very good um how can i make it okay i do like this track again solid nice riff great performance uh, pl play the greatest hits this goes back to that first album raw rocker absolutely brilliant but what's different about this one from what they've, from the first album they've got the sound just right now it's very very good feeling myself a little bit different nice quiet atmosphere there's no experimenting now I think they know what sound they want and they are doing a terrific job now the last man on earth I love this track it's my favorite on the album it's it's a very mellow and some fine guitar work here from OD uh, he's a very good uh, guitar player and the vocals from Elliot are just brilliant no hard feelings the bass line on this is unbelievable you know me and my bass lines I love a good bass line strong vocal uh, the backing vocals are very good on this as well all round pretty good track and the last track is The Beach 2 it's just a continuation from uh, the opening piece from The Beach and it's really good I reckon that this is definitely the best album to date they really sat down before they I think they went into the studio to do they sat down they pro, I don't know if they listened to the two albums it's a combination of that rawness and that experimental age in their second album and they've combined them and come out with an absolute gem of an album I hope they carry carry on um, I don't think they're the finished article I think there's still a lot to come from this band and I hope to, you know, in the next couple of years we get another album. So for this album, I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 8 out of 10. Okay, I've put a few, I've put a few tracks in the playlist uh, just to go for you to get a little taste of what they've done. Um, go and check them out; they are very, very good, especially if you're an older older rock person like myself um, it's always good to go and check what's about and uh, this is a friend put me onto these and I'm glad I do because I do like them I do love Ellie's voice she's terrific okay uh, well, that's all for this episode um, we've still got class we got still got retro ranking today we are going a bit off kilter today um, we're going to be looking at Tears for Fears. What's he doing? They're saying, "What's up?" They have made some really good songs, and that's why I'm going to give them a bit of love. So join me for that one. Um, it's not all about singles, though. There's, there's, some of their album tracks are pretty stunning, as you will find out. So I'll see you for that. Take care for now. <laughs>